Oh man, y'all been sending me videos from everywhere. It's a lot of strange things out here in the world and we're gonna take a good look at them today. Make sure y'all smash that like button. Let's get this 20,000 likes. Subscribe to my channel. 60% of the people that watch this channel aren't even subscribed. Stop being as weird as these damn videos. Let's get into this video without further ado. Good vibes only. Let's get, let's get it, people. And don't believe anything in these videos until you go out here and do your own damn research. I'm not in charge of what you think which came later on she really honed in on the fact that a lot of us think that we're stupid because we didn't do well in school but the very fabric of our being our very existence is pure intelligence so we think because we don't assimilate to these half truths and these lies and it doesn't resonate with us that we're not smart but every single thing about you is intelligence in fact every revelation or technology advancement that we've had is based off of intelligence that you have inside of you naturally but if they can get you in school and they can weed out who is not going to assimilate well to the system and then they can demonize you for it and make you feel like something is wrong with you because you can't resonate with the information, then they're able to put you in a prison cell without actually putting you in a prison cell. Because now you think that you're not an intelligent being and you can't trust the information that's coming through you because it doesn't align with what you're being told. But what you're being told is an illusion to keep you in a box. So the people who assimilate well, they'll take them with them. But the people who don't assimilate well, they're basically preparing them for prison. Because if they can get you in prison, then they have free slave labor. And then she pointed me to license plates and she pointed me to cotton fields as if prisoners are still picking cotton. And that's why black and brown communities are policed more. It seems like once we start getting ahead, they come out with more restrictions and laws to apply to us so that they can get free labor. So the people who don't assimilate free labor, the people who do get the illusion of choice, which all of it is like debt labor. And they keep basically pointing me back to this big ass machine of debt. And everybody is working to pay off a debt that does not belong to them. But not only that, the people who don't assimilate are typically the people who came here to make change. But they need to get you while you're in your developmental stages between the ages of zero and seven. That's why you start school at five so that they can condition you not to believe in your own capabilities because you are the disruptor. You are the person who came here to shake this shit up. So if they make you think you dumb and you incapable, and they put all these restrictions on you so that you literally are limited in the way that you move. Eventually, you'll lose hope in your ability to change things. So the whole system was a setup from the beginning. What do y'all think about this? I went to Africa, they took me out there, I went out there for a genealogy thing. I went out there to see my, 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 my ancestors. They took me out there, I did this thing, and they took me out there, they took me way out in this village, on this dirt road, all the way out to this village. And they took me and they showed me and said, these are your people. I said, don't none of these people look like me. <laughs> and tricked my ass, got me all the way out here in the desert. Now what is this on your neck? What I, well, it's still, I gotta you get a tattoo that says neck? Tattoo that says neck? Well, I have one that's my tribal tattoo. I'm from, um, you know, the, the monkey tribe. I kind of figured that. Yeah, he's right. Like, he's like, dog, you from the monkey tribe. Am I from the Pomonkey too? No, no, no. Okay. No, no, no. It's, 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 native, it's a Native American tribe, but... Uh, you know. Now... $1,700. Suspects hand out consumables, and the natives are restless. The natives are restless. And the natives are restless. So I'm like you guys. I celebrate American history, uh, which is our history, every month out the year. And I hope that for parents and kids that go home, now we have the internet. Now we have tools in our hand. And no, you aren't being taught black American history in schools, but now we can still go out and find that history. It's not like when we grew up and maybe it was buried someplace in the encyclopedia. All you gotta do is go type in some words and you can get it right now and, and understand and where you come from and how special you are. Can I just end with this one thing? These four brothers sitting here, we didn't all come from Africa. And there was a united, there was, there was a country before 1492 
and our history goes way beyond 1492. So you can't start us at 1492. We were always here. A child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. A child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. A child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. A child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. Well, a child's happiness is priceless, right? Especially when you got a birthday. A child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. A child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. A child's happiness is priceless, especially on their birthday. A child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. A a child's happiness is priceless, especially when it comes to their birthdays. Absolutely. A child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. A child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. Well, a child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. A child's smile is priceless, especially on a birthday. A child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. You know, a child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. A child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. A child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. <laughs> A child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. A child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. A child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. You like that? In consumer news, economic factors may take some spring out of the Easter Bunny step this year. Economic factors may take some spring out of the Easter Bunny step this year. Economic factors may take some spring out of the Easter Bunny step this year. Economic factors may take some spring out of the Easter Bunny step this year. Economic factors may take some spring out of the Easter Bunny step this year. Economic factors may take some spring out of the Easter Bunny step this year. Economic factors may take some spring out of the Easter Bunny step this year. Economic factors may take some spring out of the Easter Bunny step this year. Economic factors may take some spring out of the Easter Bunny step this year. Economic factors may take some spring out of the Easter Bunny step this year. Economic factors may take some spring out of the Easter Bunny step this year. Economic factors may take some spring out of the Easter Bunny step this year. Economic factors may take some spring out of the Easter Bunny step this year. Economic factors may take some spring out of the Easter Bunny step this year. Economic factors may take some some spring out of the Easter Bunny step this year. Economic factors may take some spring out of the Easter Bunny step this year. Economic factors may take some of the spring out of the Easter Bunny step this year. Uh. Economic factors may take some spring out of the step of the Easter Bunny step. Mike Myers says, yeah, baby. 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 Did I say that right? Yes, I said that right. Yeah, baby. Talk show host Conan O'Brien may be about to push the envelope on late night television. Conan O'Brien may be able to push the envelope on late night television. Conan O'Brien may be about to push the envelope on late night television. Conan O'Brien may be about to push the envelope on late night television. Conan O'Brien may be about to push the envelope on his late night television. Conan O'Brien may be about to push the envelope on late night television. Conan O'Brien may be about to push the envelope on late night television. Well, Conan O'Brien may be about to push the envelope on late night tv conan o'brien may be about to push the envelope on late night television conan o'brien may be about to push the of course the black lady said tv <laughs> Envelope on late night television. Conan O'Brien may be about to push the envelope once again on late night TV. Push the envelope. Like this shit is cringy, yo. It went from being funny to scary now, right? Like it's like, ugh. Your grandparents are listening to this shit and they they eat it up every day. That's why they grew up hating each other. Real talk. That's why we growing up and we're just like, you know. 
Conan O'Brien may be about to push the envelope on late night television. Conan O'Brien is looking to push the envelope on late night television. And Conan O'Brien may be about to push the envelope on late night TV. Conan O'Brien may be about to push the envelope on late night television. Conan O'Brien may be about to push the envelope on late night television. Conan O'Brien may be about to push the envelope on late night television. Conan O'Brien may be preparing to push the late night envelope. And welcome back to the show, Ice Cream, You Scream, you know the rest. 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 Well, Ice Cream, You Scream, you know the rest. Ice Cream, You Scream, well, you know the rest. Ice Cream, You Scream, well, you know the rest. Ice Cream, You Scream, we all, well, you know the rest. Ice Cream, You Scream, you know the rest. Ice cream, you scream, we all know the rest. Ice cream, you scream, you know the rest. Ice cream, you scream, well, you know the rest. Ice cream, you scream, you know the rest. No, we don't. <laughs> I don't know the rest, y'all. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Y'all don't know the rest. Ice cream, you scream, we all know the rest of it, right? Ice cream, you scream, well, you know the rest. Ice cream, you scream, you know the rest. Ice cream, you scream, and you know the rest. Ice cream, you scream, you know the rest. Ice cream, you scream, well, you know the rest. Well, ice cream, you scream, well, I think you know the rest. Ice cream, you scream, you know the rest. Ice cream, you scream, and everybody knows the rest. Ice cream, you scream, well, you know the rest. Ice cream, you scream, you know the rest. Ice cream, you scream, and you know the rest. Ice cream, you scream, you know the rest. I don't find that funny. I find it scary. <laughs> Media outlets publish these same fake stories without checking facts first. The sharing of biased and false, false news has, has become, become all too common, common on, on social, social media. media. More alarming, some media outlets publish these same stories without checking facts first. Unfortunately, some members of the media use their platforms to push their own personal bias and agenda to control exactly what people think. And this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. 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 Now what does that tell y'all? That that is scary. That is more scary than than a lot of things that we cover on this channel. I know that last clip we've seen before, but the one before that, I've I've never seen that one, right? But it shows you, man. It comes in all shapes and forms. All of them are puppets. All of them are being controlled to say the same things over and over to feed you this nonsense. And then they would gaslight independent researchers and stuff like that. You know, real reporters, street reporters that aren't controlled by, you know, big companies. They try to stop them from putting the real stories out there. And this is what your grandparents, grandparents, grandparents are watching still probably to this day. It's, 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 it's alarming that they still have an audience that tunes in. But let's get it. And the fact that you're allowing the media to portray us as as anti-government after I expressed to you multiple times when I'm anti-government, it's, it's, it's violating my trust with you guys. So I'm just informing you, we're not going to escalate anything any further. We're not going to, we're, we're, we're going to continue to not point our, our arms at you because that's, that's not what we're here for. That's not what we plan to do today. Uh, we're, we're, we're not going to uh, threaten you guys. We're not going to uh, coerce you guys. We're not going to make you guys feel threatened in any type of way. Uh, we're not going to um, uh, do any shady movements or anything like that to make you guys feel threatened. We're not going to do anything like that. So at most, what's going to happen is we're going to get so fatigued to the point where it's, 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 it's easier for you to violate us because we're going to be so weak from not eating and, and drinking that you're just going to be able to arrest us. That's, that's really what's going to happen. And you're probably going to have to bring me out on, on, a stretch, on a stretcher, so please have paramedics ready. Uh, because I'm already fatigued. The last thing I always wanted to do, I'm having that to cut. Okay? And I think the, the most important thing that, that you guys do now is show the world, show with the media that you want what you say. That, that, Who's that? That, 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 that this is a violation of your constitutional rights. He was just.
just arrested on camera. No. Him. Oh, wow. He was just arrested on camera? That was dope. Bro. Oh, okay, okay. I'm sure. Yeah, so, so, I'm, I'm ensuring, I'm ensuring your safety. No, I, I, I already don't have that window because I'm already blocked on social media. Okay, I, I hear you, I hear you, and I'm pretty sure you mean what you're saying. I'm pretty sure you're not tell a guy. Him to, tell him to that, that's, that's just going to lie. Tell him to contact Channel 5 and, yeah. and correct and correct, and correct correct what they just put on because I'm watching Perfect. it right now. Perfect. One of my men is watching Channel 5 right now, and he asked if you can contact them and have them correct what they just put out because it's clearly a lie. This is... This is you have to understand that we cannot control what they said. Yes, but you can control their access to speak to us is what you can do. You know, yeah, I remember this. The at least, at least 59 people. Hey, I had to add this too. I had to add this. Look, some of y'all probably seen this before, but it goes like, look, this was in there, and I chose to put it in here too. I lined these things up. It's crazy. At least 149 people wounded. The numbers are going to get up. Out. There's just no question about that. I mean, you have fierce fighting in a number of locations around the country. You mentioned Chernobyl. Russian forces quickly overtaking that area. We understand they are still in control. The other thing that went have, went down today um, that was of huge importance was Russian paratroopers went into an airfield 15 miles right, outside of Kiev, and for a short period of time this afternoon. I don't know what I don't know. Hey, to me, that looked like, you know, remember they said that them them planets are gonna be coming around and it's gonna get close to the earth and all these other things. Remember that movie uh Greenland when they was like, oh them asteroids gonna hit uh Florida and then they was like, oh excuse me. Oh shit. Florida gone, yo. <laughs> you know. Don't that shit look it look real familiar to me, goddamn. But look, we're gonna keep going though. This shit lit. know this book is some of y'all read this book most of you haven't this book is going to change everything how is it gonna change everything and let me those know those who are reading this book now these are the people who are the pioneers of the future see what you gotta understand is that there are things in this world that they don't want you to know one of those things is the food forest this book breaks down things that you should know, but that you don't know. Most of you should know what a food forest is. Most of you don't. And some of you know what a food forest is. But even those who know what it is don't know how to create one. But once you know how to create it, once you utilize a food forest, they know that you won't need them. See, they don't want, to know, they don't want you to know that you live in the matrix. The matrix is a medium or structure in which something develops in. There are good matrices and bad matrices. You live in the bad one. Bad ones don't really want to develop you so that you can be free. They want to develop you so they can keep you in a certain state of infancy or domestication so they can continue to use you until you die. This chapter right here is one of my favorite chapters. It really, literally breaks down the body of God. And those who read this book, they still don't even know that it breaks that down. It literally starts with how 
God is the all, right? Now, from God being the all, what you got to understand is, I'll pull up this picture so you could understand. You got to understand that God is existence. And that the greatest thing in, in existence is existence itself. Because something must exist. There's no such thing as nothing, no thing, not a thing. Non-existence in itself can't exist. I hope you understand that. And then you have the womb or the matrix. That's the M right here. That is the M right here, right? That is the great feminine, the great mother, the true matrix. And if you didn't know, matrix comes from the word mater or mater, which means mother or womb. You got to understand that. All things must start from the feminine. Never forget that. And then from that comes consciousness, right? There's no time yet. So I'm just laying out in a in an order so that you could understand it, but there's no time. And that consciousness is the masculine. I am, let there be, right? Light, out of the darkness comes light, right? Out of the womb comes being, you understand? And then it break, I, I'm not gonna break it all down for you, but that's a lot that's in the book, but it's put in a way that you gotta decode. I don't wanna ruin it for you, but the reality is that this book is going to change the world. Now, some of you will be at the front of this. You will be pioneering the future. Some will watch and then they will become a part of this. And others will go off into the new matrix that this matrix is creating, which is the virtual reality matrix. Yeah, if you didn't notice, that's what they're creating. But for those of you who understand you have a certain kind of consciousness, this book is going to change your perspective in life forever. Forever. We are creating a system that means no more mortgages, no more bills, no nine to fives, no more rat rates. This is real and this is serious. Guess what? This ain't no weird cult, bro. You don't need me. You can take your own group of people and do this somewhere and never even tell me. This system is real and we are about to change the world forever. Make sure that people are getting this message, family. Okay? Make sure that you are liking this video, that you are favoring this video, that you are sharing this video, that you are commenting, that you are following. That tells the algorithm to send it to more people like me and you. That's how the algorithm works. And we have to continue to use this algorithm as a tool. Don't take sides with this platform, social media war that's going on. No, utilize it as a tool so that you can use it to connect with people who are like you and spread information so that we can all be free so that our children can be free. Our nieces and nephews, our cousins, the future generation of the world, they deserve freedom as you do. And we can do this thing together, family. The book should be right here and you can get it right now. I can't tell you other means to get it. You're going to have to go to another video because then they're going to, they're going to send me a notice saying that you have violated, you know, the TikTok shop rules or whatever. You know, they have been really hassling me lately, family. But that is the information, family. Do not delay. I love you all. Peace. That's why I do these videos. It's very important for people to know the real history. Because not to know the real history, and you must know world history and European history, and you must dismiss the black and white game. If you don't, you're already in the trap. You're in the matrix. All right, the other thing is, because um, certain things that we were talking about earlier, different things that we're hitting on and different hearing people say different things. One of the things I recognize that a lot of people fail to recognize is law, what it is, what it is not, what brings it about. And so I think with a lot of us, this can help. And I want to go to this point first, then we're going to open up the questions so that we can deal with the matters that are important or that's before us. Now, <clears throat> pardon me, all civilization operates on contract. There's no such thing as civilization operating without contract. Contract is an agreement, a treaty, constitution, verbal, oral, however. They're covenants. They're all forms of contract. One of the things that I see that's a weakness with us is because of the usurpation of the United States Republic, which the Moors helped set up people unconsciously keep equating the U.S. democracy and the United States Republic, which is the first weakness. 
And I want to make, make it very, 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 very clear. The U.S. democracy has no law. The United States Republic of Morocco has the Constitution. They cut Morocco off. That is what the slavery really is. People's concept of what the slavery is in the Western Hemisphere is totally wrong. So before you can really understand how to deal with the law, you must understand what the secret societies did. What's, you have to have, put it this way, if you don't have any knowledge as to what is the body of information or the foundation principle body of information that the secret societies across the world have, you can't understand how and why governments are run. Do you understand? It's not left to emotions. And we have a tendency when waking up to still mix emotions with realities. This is where we get caught in the matrix that everybody just is talking about. And that vague area where foreign authorities are able to take jurisdiction in other areas where they have none. And then we get to the position of arguing what the law is and what the law is not. And so you come back to the foundation principles. And so if you don't understand the, uh, the, the political evolution on how the Europeans established government here, then you can't understand law. Get your ass in here and sit down. Now, it's been a minute that I've been thinking about this and I've been wanting to bring this to y'all, but I just don't know how to say it. I didn't know how to word it correctly so that I don't seem like I went cuckoo. And maybe some of y'all are going through this. I don't know. Maybe some of y'all have experienced this. But lately, over the past two, three months. Sorry. Lately, over the past two, three months. There has been a thunder. It's it just it's been thundering. Um, it has been raining, but it's been thundering, and a lot of times it's thundering and there's no rain. And I got this strong feeling in my gut that those, I mean, since we supposedly live under a firmament in an enclosed system. I think those are titans or giants walking around up there because I would I would be sitting on the porch and the thunder would start from over here and it would it would just travel but it would travel like boom 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 not a normal thunder that crackles across the sky these are fucking footsteps and I've told several people this so this ain't some shit I just thought about I've, I've told several people about this I don't know it's just been nagging me what do y'all think titans or not I think the titans are waking up y'all I really do and I really hope that y'all are ready for this shit that's about to happen. We ain't just been talking. We ain't just been spewing a bunch of bullshit. We not just a crazy woke community. Y'all, hell, they done totally diminished what the even what the meaning of woke is. Right. Right, you know what the news did? The same thing we just covered. The news just destroyed that shit. Well, with people that didn't know what it was, but y'all, y'all understand. If you're tracking, you're tracking. Let me know in the comments, man. Y'all already know they use woke for everything. LGBTQ marches and all this other shit. The woke, stop the woke people. That's that shit's crazy. Woke has nothing to do. I ain't gonna say that. Don't worry about it. Anyway, they're waking up, and I'm ready for the comments. I'm ready for the. Whatever you smoking, whatever you drinking, I need that. Listen, this is not a fucking game. Stop it. 
Because it's, it's about time. And y'all going to be the same ones coming to us for help. I'm losing sleep over this shit. Can you tell? Get y'all ass up out of here. That's not creepy. Oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> Watch his eyes. I don't like that. But it's also kind of cool, right? This nigga get up, like that's different. Watch his eyes. This door is about 2,000 years old, and if you notice, there is a lock at the top there. I wonder why. Solar catastrophic the event. are currently trying to prevent a solar catastrophic event. I'm talking an event so big that it will knock out the entire power grid and infrastructure. We will have a complete total reset. And during this time, the world is going to be in pure chaos. This is one of the reasons that I personally decided to start stockpiling. All right, let's get into these articles, though. So this one says solar superstorm could wipe out the Internet for weeks or months, scientists say. And mind you, they can't do anything to prevent this because you can't control what the sun does. A giant solar flare is inevitable and humanity is completely unprepared for the past 150 plus years, the biggest, I mean, the big ones have all missed us. At some point, our luck is going to run out. Solar flares will increase throughout 2025. NASA says that the solar cycle 25 is already exceeding predictions. As a result, the space agency says that solar flares will increase over the next few years and that it could cause some problems for Earth throughout 2025. Now, there have already been multiple power outages all over the world due to the intense heat of the sun. And the thing is that since there is more radiation from the sun hitting the planet, the earth is now absorbing all of this radiation. So it has to release it. So therefore, there is going to be an increase of natural disasters, tsunamis, earthquakes, all types of stuff. So you need... You need to have a stockpile. You need to have food somewhere so that you and your family can be safe. All right, so let's look at this. According to a new analysis, the South and Southeast have experienced the most, most extreme weather-related power outages during the past two decades. Why it matters? The electrical grid is under increasing strain as climate change raises the frequency and severity of extreme weather events from heat waves to wildfires. That is the sun doing that, okay? Because of the solar flares, okay? Now, let's get into the power outages. A major power outage hit Montenegro, Bos Bosnia, Albania, and most of Croatia's coast on Friday, disrupting businesses, shutting down traffic lights, and leaving people sheltering without air conditioning in the middle of a heat wave, okay? Crazy. Montenegro's energy min energy minister said the shutdown was caused by a sudden increase in power consumption brought on by high temperatures and by the heat itself overloading systems. So that is only one of the reasons that I'm stockpiling. Follow for more survival tips. All right, so scientists, some, are sounding the alarm on a so-called solar superstorm that could, and this is important,
He said so-called. You hear him? Like, listen to the words, man, what these people are saying to you. Underline the word could eventually wipe out the internet for weeks or even months. The sun is releasing massive spurts of energy that are headed directly toward Earth. And if they hit us, it could change everything. Power grids could be wiped out. Our communications could cease to exist. Humanity might be put back into the Stone Age, all because of a solar storm. But what makes them so powerful? How is it possible for something like this to happen in 2024? And why are they so dangerous? So how could something like this happen anyway? Well, it all starts with the cycle of our sun. Known as the solar cycle, this is an 11 year stretch in which the sun's solar activity increases and decreases. The cycle starts with just a few sunspots raging about and creating mass amounts of energy, and then five or six years later, it reaches its peak with anywhere from 100 to 200 sunspots. Then it ramps back down for the last five years and we start another solar cycle. Currently, we're in our 25th cycle since we began tracking the sun in 1755. And unfortunately for us, scientists predict that the sunspots will peak in 2024. This means there's a higher chance that a solar storm will occur. Well, when a solar storm occurs, you won't notice it right away. That's because it takes a few minutes before it reaches Earth. And hurry up and get in your last couple of YouTube videos because once this storm hits, everything changes. Now, the first thing you might notice is that more and more auroras will start popping up worldwide. This typically happens when charged particles from the solar storm interact with the Earth's atmosphere. Although these sights in the sky look beautiful, the good parts about a solar flare end there. Due to the effect on our geomagnetic field, most of our technology would stop working. Things like satellites, GPS, and radio transmissions would become incredibly spotty. Your cell phone likely wouldn't be able to pick up any signal, and communications worldwide would start to fade out or become less reliable. But that would only be if we were affected by a few solar flares. This is an entire solar storm we're talking about here. These are comprised of multiple attacks by the sun on the Earth. Several days later, as you're still having trouble getting cell reception, another massive attack would come from the sun. A phenomenon known as a coronal mass ejection, or CME for short, would be coming right for Earth. This mass ejection can cause violent geomagnetic storms that interfere with Earth's magnetic field. If this were to happen, Earth as we know it could change for good. Keep watching. 2020 for solar storm continues. Hold on to your asses. Sitting on my front porch, I noticed the light coming through the window. Looked different. Pulled up the satellite. And this is what I see. That is one massive blast. It almost instantly shorted out the satellite. Solar cycle 25 peak approaches. Hold on. Thank you.
Jim and Residence, September 8th. We are getting hits and blasts about every two hours. No surprise, we do have a solar flare alert. We did get a M1.5 solar flare earlier today. And we have a geomagnetic storm that is predicted. So it's possibly going to be coming in tomorrow. So this is a beautiful time to integrate, rest, implement those changes in your life. So use the weekend, use your free time to make the changes to make your life better instead of trying to escape the life that you have. Because when you build it, it will come. Intense, so I do recommend drinking some natural juices, taking care of your body, drinking the best water that you can. And I was feeling really drained and then taking this green juice that was purely made just instantly replenished me. So your body will tell you what it needs. So remember to take time to play and have fun. Blessed be, let me know how you're feeling in the comments. Hey guys, check out this video of a huge alien type of creature of an unknown origin. People in El Paso, Texas have claimed to have seen this six to seven foot long cat that's taller than a human being climbing homes and also making noises on top of people's rooftops. As you guys can see, this thing looks a lot like E.T. from the movie. Check out this ring cam footage a lady in El Paso, Texas recorded. I tell you where I'm not going, absolutely not. Like, you're not climbing on buildings like that around me. I ain't got, I ain't got time for that. I ain't got the time for it. I could run fast, but he climbing buildings and shit. You feel me? <laughs> That's different. I ain't got no maneuvers for that. Hey guys, check this video out. <laughs> so yeah guys, we got video footage. Believe it or not guys, and it looks kind of real to me. You know, there's a lot of fake stuff all over the internet with CGI and AI, but this here, guys, this looks absolutely real. What we see here is a tall, gray, extraterrestrial trying to put his hands through the bars at the door, which protect people from coming in. And um, basically, the gentleman is there with a friend or either a relative, and he becomes feared of this thing. Whatever this thing is, it's creepy. The video has since went viral all over social media, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. What do you guys think this is? Somebody bitter ass baby mama or baby daddy. <laughs> Hey guys, check out this video of Bigfoot, AKA Sasquatch, wrestling with a bear. Now the footage went viral all over social media yesterday. No one knows if someone has a personal relationship with this creature, that he was able to stand there and record all of this happening. But if this is real guys, and this is not AI generated footage, and let's just say someone captured Bigfoot wrestling with his bear at the spare moment. This is going to make history, guys. I've never in my life seen any type of video like this on social media. In one point of the video, you could see Bigfoot wrestling with a bear, and then he falls down and loses control. I've always wondered if Bigfoot is an interdimensional creature that travels inside of a UFO with aliens. They temporarily allowed him to do biological researches in the forest and then come back and pick him up. He's like the canine of the police officer. Many people all around the United States and all around the world in different countries, they call him Yeti. In Russia, he's like a white color. People have reported to have seen this Bigfoot creature in the forest, in the woods. And they say he leaves a very foul odor. Sometimes he cries. Sometimes he throws stones at people. 
But whatever this thing is, now we have him wrestling with a bear. What do you guys think? Comment below. What do y'all think about that? Like, I'm, I'm sitting here watching it, though. We done seen some CGI. We know what CGI. The movement sometimes be, you know what I'm saying? Hands are disappear and necks are do some weird shit, you know? It ain't that good yet. But this right here is crazy because, look, all right, if it's not CGI, right? which I don't think it is. If it's a person in a suit, if that's the next thing we're going to, right? Don't like, we're going down, you know, we're going down a checklist. Who the hell do you know is strong enough to be tussling with a bear like that? Let me know. I'm asking for a friend. Like, I'm trying to see what the workout plan is because if a bear run up on me, I just punch his ass straight in the nose, hit him with some shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want that workout plan. I don't, I don't think that's a person in a suit either, just me thinking. This one right here might be like the third video of Bigfoot I, I, I really be like believe. Let me know how y'all feel about this one right here in the comments down below. That's not a person in the suit. Can't be. We've been asking for a clear video. We got one. I don't want to hear that shit in the comment. I don't see any weird movements. I know y'all remember the TV show Stranger Things, right? So you remember when they brought Mike back body back, right? And it was like a silicone body stuff with newspaper, right? You remember that? Now we we gonna get into his mission four eleven. Shout out to David Pilates. Hey, how those bodies come back? That go missing other people, children, adults, young teens, elders. Going on fishing trips, camping trips, hiking. That's cool. Hiking trips. The way those bodies come back, where they searched in the same area over 50, 60 times. And then somebody finds the body in the same exact area, the same tracks they tracked over, and still tracks there from the search and rescue. And it don't matter about this. You might think it do, because a lot of people have an experience and haven't seen. You can only imagine what we deal with for the ones who in no sectors in the military who have ran across some of this shit that you man. I ain't even gonna get into it too deep. I'm not gonna get into it too deep because they're scared of what we releasing. All I can tell you is, yeah, Hades is real. And for the ones who in power, who decided to make those shitty deals for greed and money, you fucked. Straight like that, you fucked. You fucked. Straight like that. Common sense and discernment in the fall for trees more than the gross one. Keep God first at all time, man. They messed up. I got the video footage. I got the evidence of imagery of uh, cadavers, bodies, however you want to call it. I got the victims. And there's several more, dog. For the ones who gave us that information, just know, for the military, hey, don't come for me. But for the ones who gave us the information, all praise to the most high to you, man. You got your place in the kingdom. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. You know how you're all saying UFOs don't exist, they're not real, aliens aren't real, none of this is fucking real, it's a fucking psyop because aliens don't exist. Well, the government has passed along a new handbook for all the police in the United States to abide and follow. Look, police across the United States give a new UFO handbook as they warn craft pose a significant threat really really now you're deciding that these things are threatening I, I i can't go any further with this ufos are real obviously the government is confirming it to the point where they're passing out handbooks on how to fucking deal with them i'll see myself out do anybody smell a, 
a fake alien invasion coming. You know what I'm saying? Uh, due to the the grid going down, and they gonna have these fake ass UFOs. They are gonna have some real ones too. That you know been that that, that we been had. You know what I'm saying? They gonna come out flexing on y'all while we ain't got no electricity. People gonna need some goods and services and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And it's gonna be a lot of chaos. I don't know, y'all. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this stuff, man. Uh, I, I feel like it could be a fake alien invasion coming because they've been working on this blue beam joint for a long time. And plus, we do have real ones. You know? But on top of that, you know, what makes it even more crazy, man, is we got a bunch of shit going on at the same time. So what should you focus on? I think we should just focus on ourselves, our families, and make sure that we're doing the best by ourselves. Take care of your bodies. Take care of your vessels. Lately, I've been, have you, do y'all see me? I was fat like two, two, three weeks ago, right? I done dropped like 15 pounds, just like that. I've been running like six miles a day. I've been lifting, been back lifting, focused, been eating good. You know what I'm saying? Uh, eating as many raw foods as I can, not junk food. If I, I have one cheat day, but it's not even a super crazy, even cheat day. You know, I'm staying pretty focused, focuses on my health and you know, I'm, I'm trying to do the best I can for the people around me. Hopefully y'all out here doing the same, man. Uh, don't get too caught up in all of the information. Just make sure at the end of the day, you're taking care of your household and your family, man. The best to your, your best to your ability. It's not about having a million dollars. It's not about being the most wealthy person. It's about having mental wealth because health is wealth, y'all. I appreciate y'all for tapping in and tuning in with your boy. Make sure y'all share these videos with your friends and your families. There's a lot of strange things going on here in the world. And we're going to keep covering them. Smash that like button for me so it can hit the algorithm. But like I always say, spread love because there's too much hate in this world. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next video. And I'm out though. Loud.